Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. In a previous video, we showed you how to make these. Our versions of rubber band cars. You know, scientists are always wondering and thinking. And when I look at this rubber band car and what it's made out of, I can't help but wonder and think of something that looks a lot like this. It's plastic, it has holes in it, it's used to carry stuff, but it's a lot bigger. So check this out. Enter the laundry basket. This laundry basket looks a lot like this basket. It's only bigger. And my question is, if I could make this basket into a rubber band car, I wonder if we can make this laundry basket into a rubber band car using everyday materials. To see if we can make this laundry basket move, we're gonna need wheels, we're gonna need an axle, and we're gonna need an energy source or rubber band pal. Now notice that our laundry basket already has holes in it that would allow an axle to slip through perfectly. I just need to find something that would work as an axle. It has to be long enough and round so that it can spin. In this case, we're using this little piece of round plastic pipe. You could use a wooden broom handle, a cardboard tube, anything that's round and long enough would actually work. We'll see if it slides through. And what do you know, it's a perfect fit. Now I need to find or make wheels big enough that would lift this basket up so it can move back and forth. So we were thinking that paper plates would be perfect for our wheels. They're already round, they're plenty big enough. All I have to do is cut out a hole, which I already did. But you're gonna notice what happens when I slide my wheel over my axle. My wheel is awful wobbly. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to fix that. So we figured out that if I take two plates and put them together and staple it, I end up with a nice wide thick wheel that works really well. You could play around with other designs and see if you can come up with something that works that's a little different. So you can see we've already attached one of our wheels to our axle. Notice we put tape over the hole just to make our wheel more secure. Now all I need to do, push it through the holes in my basket and slide on my other wheel. Line it up. And now, my laundry basket car is starting to take shape. So we have our front axle in place. Now for the back axle. For our back axle, we're gonna use the same design that we use for our other rubber band car. And all that is is a push pin that we're gonna push into our plastic pipe so our rubber band has something to grab onto. I just have to take the push pin off before I push it through my basket. So let's push this thing and give it a test. So our laundry basket rolls, now we need an energy source. And for that, we're gonna use rubber bands just like our other car. So our energy source for our laundry basket car is going to be rubber bands, but there is no way this one rubber band is going to be long enough to stretch across my car. We're going to need to join a couple rubber bands together. In fact, I think we might need to make a couple of these lengths of rubber bands to make it strong enough to move our car. We're going to zoom in and take a closer look at how we join those rubber bands together. So to join these rubber bands together, I'm just going to overlap them and I'm going to take this rubber band and tuck it under and this part of the rubber band and pull it out top so it looks something like this. Grab and pull. It's connected. Now I take this one and I'm going to pull that one through. And I take this one and I'm going to pull that one through. Now I need to attach my rubber band strings to my basket and to do that I have a lot of choices. I could try and attach it to the handle or I could use any of these holes along the basket. I'm going to try this one. To do this, I'm going to poke the rubber band through, bring it up through that loop and now I have it attached to my basket so I can stretch it down to my thumbtack and my back axle. I'm probably gonna attach three of these and see what kind of strength and power that gives me. So now we have to attach our rubber bands to our thumbtack and wind the car up. Stretch them, hook them on, and now I just use my hand, there's plenty of space, to wrap up and stretch my rubber bands. And we're gonna see if I can get the wheels to spin. Success. So we've tested everything out. The axles seem to spin really well with the rubber bands. We've wound it up. 
Let's see if we can get it to roll across our table. Here we go. Three, two, one. And she's ready to roll. I say we take her for a test drive out in the hallway. And we're ready to race. Three, two, one. She's off down the racetrack. Here it comes. Three, two, one. That was an awesome test run down our hallway, but our science doesn't have to stop there. We could redesign our laundry basket car and see if we can make it faster, see if we can make it go further, see if we can make it better. How? Well, we don't have to use rubber bands. What if I used hair tie bands? Or what if I used elastic straps? What if I changed my wheel design? What if I actually added laundry and made my car heavier and had a competition to see who, which basket, which laundry car could carry the most laundry down my hall. I could measure how far it goes. I could time how fast it goes. I could do so much science with a laundry basket. And that is cool. If you want to learn more about engineering design, check out our links and take some time to stop and try to wonder why. Thanks for watching.